actually easiest would be just to read out the honorable john brumby's speech itself again all over again i've got yeah. <laughs> but good evening everyone thank you uh, all the people from the media first of all i'll uh, personally thank meetu for giving me this opportunity i've known meetu for years now and uh, <clears throat> the indian film festival of melbourne it's fantastic i attended it this august and uh, it was really nice uh, extremely warm and very very hospitable um, really nice films a lot of nice interesting people i got to meet and of course meet who i've known since years and uh, as far as uh, the state of victoria is concerned um, and shooting in melbourne is concerned i'm first hand um, ambassador i shot uh, a long period of uh, chakde in melbourne and it is uh, there for everyone to see one of the nicest places to shoot uh, apart from the professionalism i think uh, at a personal level the people in melbourne and victoria how wonderful they are and how film friendly they are and now that we are getting uh, 3 million dollars to go there and uh, <laughs> so thank you caroline uh, for uh, arranging this uh, uh, benefit there for indian films which is Uh, I, w- I would just like to uh, mention, just don't include it for big films. Actually, maybe the smaller and medium budget films need it more, and maybe you should extend it to that. So that'd be nice. Thank you, Gunu, for being here. Thank you, Michelle, um, and thank you, Meetu, and most of all, the Honourable Mr. John Brumby. Um, when I was there at the, I'm a big believer of education, and I truly believe that uh, the way forward for any country, any family, any city, any state. is by educating itself more and more and more there is never uh, an end to education i have come to realize the more i know i figure out the less i understand and it's very very important to keep educating ourselves for the rest of our lives and i have always believed education in india and elsewhere in the world is the most important step forward for any nation and then of course related to the fact that education of women and uh, empowering women uh, to look after themselves to look after their families and i really always believe that women are extremely and much more conscientious uh, than us men and if you are able to empower them with education the world goes even further forward so thank you uh, mr brumby the honorable mr brumby for allowing me to be there for me uh, you know the big honor uh, and how fit through the speech of uh, <laughs> mr brumby Uh, the eloquent uh, with which he was talking about me and introducing me half way through it went so much more that i thought it wasn't about me they're not giving me the honor anymore they're crock talking about somebody else so thank you and i really want to say that uh, um, i've been to universities all around the world and just at the physical part of it i think it's an extremely beautiful state uh, and gopika you're going to be very very happy uh, going and studying there it's such a beautiful campus it's such a large campus and beyond that uh, i know it was put up for me maybe a permanent structure can be put for having live concerts of shahrukh khan whenever you call so <laughs> we had a great time there and i'm really really grateful uh, to this whole team of people who are here some of the names that i may not have mentioned from australia uh, but all of them were extremely kind to me um, it's not about the film work uh, it goes beyond that that somewhere a fantastic university or an institution like la trobe decides to take out its time uh, set up a panel of people who will give an opportunity to an indian student to come down and further their education um, i won't say any more because uh, the evening is not about us any of us actually who've spoken uh, the evening really is about gopika and her family uh, you know she's been uh, doing research <coughs> i may not say the <coughs> right thing but her research is about um uh, broadly put about elephants uh here in um, uh, india am i right or in asia yeah and now she is shifting over to bees uh so which which uh, is such a uh, i i don't try to even understand what she's doing um she is doing a phd is what is very very important and i wish you the best and i hope uh people get this opportunity your families here i wish them the best thank you very much uh for educating your child so much and hopefully this opportunity will make you even prouder than you already are about your uh, young daughter and inshallah you should go there study there for four years i made to understand do your phd uh, from elephants to the bees and then uh, you know 
do whatever you do and make the better, uh, the, make world a better place to live in. And I'm sure, inshallah, you will do it. So thank you, Gopika, for studying hard, uh, making your parents proud. Uh, and, and it's an honor for me uh, to lend my name or be attached to the scholarship. So thank you. But I think the biggest honor is that you're the first recipient and we are thankful to you that you're studying so hard and made this possible. So God bless you all for being here. Thank you everybody from the university, from Melbourne, from Victoria, from Australia. Thank you all the people who've helped uh, me to uh, achieve this. Uh, extremely nice, genuinely. I mean, it's way beyond, though your festival is wonderful, but I think this is way beyond festivities and happiness and cinema. So thank you for doing this and God bless you all and thank you for involving me in this. Thank you very much.